Okay, so Beauty and the Beast was filmed in 1946, and it was directed by John Cocteau. It is categorized in the genre of romance, drama, and fantasy. John Cocteau was born in 1889 and died in 1963, and he grew up in Paris with a wealthy family that was cultivated and took great interest in art, for example, music, literature, and painting. He himself considered he considered himself as a poet, a libertist, novelist, actor, film director, and painter. He collaborated with the Russian ballet, and he was active in many art movements, but overall, he considered himself a poet at heart. Cocteau served in World War I as an ambulance driver where he met other potential artists like Pablo Picasso, where his adaptation of an aesthetic based around simplicity and classical clarity began. He was actually addicted to opium and visited many sanatoriums throughout his lifetime. And this later took an approach in his later works displaying the effects that his childhood took on him. His take on film is more of visual poetry that you can actually experience and see for yourself rather than a traditional film narrative. So Cocteau sees this to capture his audience's attention by getting rid of any prior knowledge you have when watching a film while rather proposing a new perspective from a child's point of view. So during the 1940s, the zeitgeist was a desire to save lives and to see the war to a quick and safe end. Cocteau's adaptation of the classic French tale into his own version of the film suggests his message interpreted from his own experience after World War II, which is basically anyone who grew up in or experienced a traumatic childhood or experience can basically become a beast themselves. As Cocteau himself said, my aim would be to make the beast so human, so sympathetic, so superior to men, that his transformation into Prince Charming would come as a terrible blow to beauty, condemning her to a humdrum marriage and a future that I summed up in the last sentence of all fairy tales, and they had many children. So this film continues to have an emotional effect on audiences currently to this present day, because you can compare this film to the Disney version except that one is targeted at more mature. This one is targeted at more mature audiences, not exactly children. Disney was also influenced by the classic French fairy tale, but they took a different approach that's more appropriate for younger an audience, considering it's animated and it's focused on more of the music. Puck 2's version of Beauty and the Beast, it held more advanced camera techniques, especially for its time of the 1940s. For example, there's a scene where Belle glides and it's as if she's moved or swayed by a magnetic force. Later on, this technique is borrowed or practiced by Spike Lee. To this current day, the film creates emotional effects that are magical and poetic, basically because of its stunning visuals, and it is said to beautifully retell a beautiful story while powerfully displaying the beast's magic, combining art and magic. So Cocteau's interpretation of Beauty and the Beast set a precedent for filmmakers after World War II, since it was a period of which entertainment was needed to emerge.